The Monerotopia guest segment is sponsored by Cake Wallet. Store, send, receive, and exchange your Monero and Bitcoin safely on iOS and Android too. Cake Wallet is open source, and you always control your own keys. Bring these guys up. What's going on, hey, Alex? I made it. What's up, guys? My <laughs> Linus, intro. what's up? <laughs> the Happy weekend, hey everybody. What's up, Doug? What's How's up, it going, man? How's it going? I'm feeling good. It's been a <laughs> so, while. Hold on, let's do a chat. Let's say, say Monero. Monero. <laughs> Monero. It works much better in, in, in person for sure. That was amazing yeah, when you guys performed at Monero Topia in Miami. That was like that that was a moment. That was definitely a moment. It was amazing because uh of many reasons, but that was the only time that all members of the free knots from all corners of the globe uh were on stage together at the same time. Uh, typically, we've had like four or five members of the group over the years, and uh, typically uh, all the shows we've done from Anarchapoco to Bitcoin conferences for various reasons, one member wouldn't uh, able to, wasn't able to be there, and that was the one that we were all together on stage. So that was truly special. I don't know if that's uh, publicly viewable, but apparently it leaked somehow because Linus uh, has seen it, and that's one of the reasons he got in touch with us uh, recently to... Um, <laughs> to perform out at this uh, upcoming event, which we're going to talk about. So that should be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about this. Linus had reached out to me and um, other other people actually reached out to me too, letting me know that this this thing was going down. Um, and it, it kind of just started to snowball and we realized that it could be a great opportunity for Monero. I was at the last Libertarian National Convention and that was great you know people were very receptive to it but it feels like now's the real tipping point um this idea that tyranny is growing in america is is i think really starting to boil over and bubble over i mean we have trump that's going to the libertarian national convention because he wants to basically pander to to this community because he sees it as a growing idea he sees the growing trend out there uh, he's coming to the people because he sees that that the people are waking up to the, the, the you know the the ideas of of libertarianism, um, and so he wants to kind of kind of cater to the movement. So that just that just shows. So we think it's kind of right place, right time, to now show up there as well and get the word out on Monero. So Linus pitches this idea. We think it's a great idea. Linus, you want to explain everything that we're looking to do? Uh, sure. So um, we created a, a Kuno. It's going to be a, a collaboration between uh, the Central New Jersey Libertarian Party, which is arranging this uh, Enemies of the State DC bash that's happening at the, the LNC, and uh, Monerotopia. Um, we're going to get a Monerotopia a table at the LNC for a couple days um, so they can be uh, talking to people, teaching them about Monero, uh, showing them how to download, install Cake Wallet, and uh, set them up some some Monero so they can uh, get a feel for actually using the currency, getting them onboarded. Um, and then uh, the Central New Jersey Libertarian Party, um, the event that we're putting together for Friday night, March the 24th, uh, we, it's called Enemies of the State DC Bash. And what we're doing it is is it's a party, but the theme of the party is to, to honor um, individuals who have been uh, labeled enemies of the state, people who have um, not necessarily done anything violent, have not aggressed on anybody, have not, um, you know, been a menace to society in any way, but because they challenged the uh, the authority of the state and didn't ask for the state's permission uh, to do things to make the world better, um, they've been put in, in terrible situations. <laughs> so um, the main five that were focusing on are um, Edward Snowden, Julian Assange, uh, Roger Ver, Ross Ulbrich, uh, Ian Freeman. Um, so those are the big five that we're kind of we're focusing on, but there's more. We'll have uh, Jeremy Kaufman is confirmed to, to speak there. So he'll be uh, telling the, the library Odyssey story, um, getting hoping to get Doug on stage to be able to talk about the tornado cash and the samurai devs. Uh, we just want to make people aware 
of, of all these stories, of all these individuals who um, are trying to make the world better, but because it challenges the, the authority of our benevolent dictators, um, they're being put in prison or exiled from our country. <laughs> Yeah, I think, and uh, like I was saying, you know, right place, right time to do this, to bring attention to, to these ideas and to these people uh, who are, are being wrongfully persecuted here for fighting for, for freedom and liberty. Um, it's extremely important that we come out and support them. Um, we, we, can't, we can't let them write history, right? We, we need the only way we can, you know, properly write history is if we get our side of the story out there and enough people understand what, what's really happening. Uh, so it's an extremely important th thing to do. Uh, I think it's really cool that you guys got behind this and you thought of doing this in, in combination with the convention itself, because there's going to be a ton of energy uh, that's going into the convention. Thousands of people will be showing up. Like I said, these these people that aren't even part of really the libertarian movement are now coming there. So there's there's going to be a lot of a lot of media attention. So mm -hmm. uh, well, great great job and and great strategizing uh, in doing this in accordance with that. And guys, I mean, in terms of Monero, um, so we're doing we're doing this Kuno. This is the first Kuno I've ever been a part of. So as you guys know, I've been talking about Kuno from day one. I think it's a beautiful project. I almost I almost was the one that took it over to run it. Um, it's run, uh, but it's run by uh, Radan, and he's doing Red Ant Radan. I don't, I don't know how to actually pronounce his name correctly. You know, completely anonymous dude. I, I speak to him, DM with him. Great guy, fantastic guy. He took it over from. Uh, Anarchio, Anarchio built this completely open source. It's a beautiful tool. It works very smoothly. It does the job well. It allows you to essentially create Kickstarters that are based in Monero, um, and it just it just works very smooth. It's a nice it's a nice embodiment of what Monero can be used for. And so, never actually been part of a Kuno, but I'm part of this one. Um, and I think it's, it's, it's got a lot of potential here. We are at the end of the day asking for a lot of Monero. I'm hoping, uh, some of the bigger people can ship in as well. We'll, we'll spread it around to maybe like the sponsors as well and get them excited about, about it. But I think it's going to be extremely productive. We've done this many, many times. Usually actually it's just Vic cake that, that ends up supporting us, but I figured this time let's, let's bring it to the community. Um, so we're going to be running a Monero table all, all week, all day, Friday and all day, Saturday at the convention itself. Uh, Linus, hopefully, uh, you'll be able to help out with that a little bit. Um, but these have always been very successful in the past. Anybody that's seen us run it. And then we, we, we end up serving like gratuitous coffee as we're doing it. We talk to hundreds of people and then we'll be onboarding them to Monero. We'll be getting them to download cake wallet on the spot, sending them, I think we said 0 0.03 XMR or whatever it is. So it's like a little more than $5 per person and just kind of get them using it. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, misinformation about Monero. People have heard about it, especially in these circles, they've heard about it, but they might not really understand it. Um, there's a lot of FUD out there. So you get a wallet in their hand and you get them using it. And it's among a group of people that for the most part understand the need for digital cash. It's people that like get it when you say, hey, uh, you know, the government's trying to eliminate cash and they're, they're, they're alert to that. They understand why that's a problem. These are people that are, a lot of them are gold bugs, all, you know, anti-fiat, uh, anti-fed, um, and so they, they need to understand that Monero exists as a tool and they need to understand what's going on in terms of the government's ramping up their policing, essentially, of the, the usage of privacy tools in the U.S. and trying to stomp it out. And all libertarians need to understand what's going on here so they can come, number one, uh, you know, uh, fight politically fight against what they're trying to do to privacy tools. And number two, just start using a tool like Monero and understanding that's ultimately that's, that's how we can do the most for the Liberty movement is just completely opting out, opting out of their system and using untraceable digital cash peer to peer, like liber the libertarian movement needs to make that part of their movement. Linus, wh what do you think of that? I mean, you have, you kind of have your finger on the pulse of, uh, you know, mainstream libertarianism. Can, can we get that community to that point? Uh, I mean, I think it's a, 
the, the natural community that should adopt it. Like, I, I can't understand how anyone could be a libertarian and not believe in a, a free market decided currency, you know, something that is, is open. And, and obviously, if you're, if you're going to be evaluating currencies on their quality and the market is going to freely choose what currency to use, um, obviously something that respects user privacy and fung has fungibility uh, is a natural choice that I think the, ma the market would adopt naturally. Couldn't agree more. Um, just to yeah, make sure you guys understand everything that's going on here. So yeah, we'll have we'll have the table, um, stickers, right? So we're gonna print out thousands of stickers. Do we have the sticker to show? I think you, you did a you, great job designing a sticker that I think will uh, will hit home with the libertarians. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you could bring that up, but we're printing out thousands of stickers, and then we're gonna pay to have them put into the LNC swag bag. So mm -hmm. everybody that's bought a ticket to the libertarian national uh convention we'll be getting a swag bag with one of these monero stickers in it so that, that's cool um and then we're going to be giving monero away I'll, I'll do a monero topia live from there i'm going to obviously be on a mission to try to talk to the trump team to try to talk to vivic to try to talk to rfk jr um try to get these people talking about get their viewpoints on digital cash like they're, they're here they're in this venue they need to be answering that question uh so i'm going to be working on that so i think it could be quite successful fingers crossed but yeah we are asking you guys to to help out help fund this and to help basically you know you're supporting the enemies of the state party which i think is a great initiative yeah, I sent you Doug the uh, the sticker to your email. I don't know if you can pull pull that up on your end. And then uh, you think you could pull up the uh, the Central NJ official enemies of the state page real quick, just to give people a look at what that is. There's a, um, link, for, there's, a there's a link for it on that Kuno down there. Okay, okay, for, for hold up, bottom. hold up. Sure. Yo, Doug, uh, are you guys gonna have any more of those Monero uh, glasses? I was looking for mine right before the show. I wanted to wear them. Um, but I got them somewhere. Those are a uh, rare gem, probably some sort of uh, physical collector. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to I'll try to bring some to to the convention nice. to the party. I'll try to bring some to the party. Topia, yeah. Miami. If you know, you know. You got you got your treasure. <laughs> we still have a bag of them, but we like to keep. We don't like to you know give too. We slowly give out like one or two a year. Yeah, don't inflate the supply, bro. <laughs> don't inflate the supply. <laughs> exactly um here we are wait did it open did i get it open for you uh up oh. by the way you guys Hold know on. trump uh he this isn't the first time he'll be speaking at a libertarian party convention he spoke at the one in 2016 or uh, 2015 the, right before he got elected so mm -hmm. it's kind of like you know interesting <clears throat> that he he recognizes that you know it's why not follow the same playbook um from what he did before he got elected the first time reach out to you know the wider liberty community with the libertarian party being the third largest party yeah, mostly yeah. you know the independence is kind of like i see a lot of similarities with uh, the libertarian party and monero in terms of just sort of like the fight with like the monero is like the third largest crypto in terms of like uh developers right but obviously the first two bitcoin and ethereum developer community is so propped up by like institutions so you know that's why monero is really like the number one grassroots peer-to-peer -peer cash um and I, I just i see so many contrasts with with the libertarian party so i agree with you doug that it seems like an obvious um you know thing that they, they should be embracing because you've got a lot of people in the libertarian party who are paying attention to what's really going on in bitcoin and for the last few years it's been all like you know oh yeah of course the libertarian party embraces bitcoin but then it's like okay wait well when you dig a little bit deeper it's like should we really <laughs> so, yeah exactly yeah so i just want to say with, with the the site there um give a shout out to uh chris valrath who's been doing all the art for us i think he did really great with the overall aesthetic of the whole page and i also shout out to chris fox who actually put all this together on the he's been handling the website for us so i think they've done a great job uh putting this together and you know if there's anyone Anyone out there watching who wants to give us dirty fiat, or if you have a business you want to get on that sponsored by section there, um, you can go to this website. There's a form you can reach out if you want to be a sponsor. Um, and there's also a, a donation box if you want to send dirty fiat. But obviously, if you have the superior Monero currency, uh, you can donate to the Kuno. <laughs> Very cool, man. 
Very so, cool. And, yeah, guys. And for uh, real, real quick for entertainment, we have uh, currently we have Jordan Page listed on there for entertainment. Um, but I guess Monerotopia exclusive because I don't think we've announced it anywhere else. Uh, we're going to have free knots. <laughs> Let's so go. Three, 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 three members of free knots will be there. And yeah, it's going to be a great time. How many people Stay fit into the uh, fit into the Stay room where the party's arrow. at? Stay <laughs> on arrow. No, it's gonna be lit. Yo, um, yeah. I don't know if I should leak, but the rumors are there's gonna be uh, some special surprise opening act possibly that is going to be like absolutely insane, like like big famous name type level. Um, but yeah, it looks like the free knots are going to be out there all weekend, uh, partying with everybody, you know, at least for Friday and, uh, Saturday, some stuff going on as well that, uh, we'll it's, be hanging out with the... it, It's not crypto bear, is it? It's not crypto bear, is it? <laughs> Even bigger. I love, I hope crypto bears. You don't get bigger than crypto hope... bear. Not on my book. <laughs> not on the crypto bear. Um, where, where is yeah, he? That's right. Did you get? Were you, were, did you guys try to get in touch with them at all? Did you guys try to? Uh, I, 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 I know we tried. Crypto Bear, if you're out there, if you want to try to get a hold of us, <laughs> we'd yeah, love to hear from you. <laughs> you know, uh, we'd love to have the free knots down at Monerotopia in November too, man. And uh, and Crypto Bear, like we we, we gotta we gotta bring it down to Mexico. Man, I haven't been to Mexico in in now a couple of years. I've missed the last Anarchapocos. So uh, I'm, I really, I would love to make that happen. So we'll, we'll see what we can do. But, um, but yeah, in DC, just this coming, uh, you know, anybody who can make it out, you, you've got a few weeks left to plan. The flights are pretty cheap as far as, you know, relevant, uh, relative to what, um, to what I was expecting. And uh, my good friends, uh, Jack V. Lloyd and the philosopher are going to be out there hanging out with us. Um, so there's going to be all sorts of fun events going on. And um, yeah, I mean, like I, <laughs> I just I, I, shout out to to Linus and the team who are putting the enemies of the state bash together. This is, I think, going to like kind of put the LP on a map in a new kind of way. Like back in the day, years ago, when I was involved with the Libertarian Party, uh, I, I was always trying to put the party back in Libertarian Party. You know what I mean? It's like if you're not like having a good time, how are you going to attract people to your movement? You know, even Ron Paul back in the day recognized like you need music and young people if you want your your cause to grow right. and so you know this is why we you know i created free knots um and this is why i think it's it's all um downstream from culture you know that's why the libertarian more and more people in the libertarian party are starting to realize this and and shift focus to some of these types of things that can just explode uh the party like really way more fast uh than the strategies they've been using so far in my opinion so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward. This will be my first national convention. No, that's not true. I went to one national convention back in the day in Orlando, but but it's been a while. So yeah, and I'll, I'll say at, at the moment, uh, so far this event is free, and we want to keep it free, um, but we also have no money. So if you, <laughs> if there's anyone out there that also wants to keep it free, uh, so that we don't have to sell tickets, we we want we really want to keep it open. Um, so if there's anyone who just like really lo loves the idea of the party, loves the theme, wants as many people as possible uh, to be able to attend and be able to hear the stories of these enemies of the state, um, we really welcome your contributions. And this is you know completely grassroots. We have pretty much no budget to start with, and uh, we, we've come a long way with with some generous donors that have that have helped us, but we still have very little. <laughs> so appreciate any any help for anyone who who really. Uh, uh, loves the theme and, and loves what we're doing. Yeah, guys, any any donations would be greatly appreciated. I'm going to drop the link in there. Um, yeah, so I, I, you know, I have, like I said, I have Kuno's on here all the time. Obviously, I think this is a worthy one. That's why I'm a part of it. Um, I think this is a, is a, it will be a good, a good use, a good use of funds for sure. Um, it's going to benefit the, the, the liberty movement and it's going to directly benefit monero in in a very real way guys thank you so much anything else you guys want to put out there any uh any other thoughts shout out to cake wallet one of the freaking most based companies in the world truly in my opinion uh i nope. it's always uh nice to see them uh, helping out contributing and sponsoring like almost every event that that they should be uh, it seems so um hats off if you guys 
don't have cake wallet already probably 95 percent of the people listening to the show uh do but download that wallet and uh yeah like you're gonna need the wallet uh when uh they're passing out uh if they're doing the same way again the way you guys gave out uh monero at the um event in miami with the cards uh where you then like claim the redeem thing mm -hmm. uh, to get mm -hmm. your free monero so that's through cake wallet so you might as well just download cake wallet now uh, this Kuno thing is really cool. Shout out to whoever built that. Um, I'm gonna. That's an Anarchio, yeah, That's anonymous awesome. in the in the community. He's also the guy who built who built XMR Bazaar for me. Uh, he's oh. yeah, doing doing amazing work for Monero. Um, I think we're gonna try to post actually a Kuno for him soon to to kind of raise him some funds. He he does tremendous amount of work for the Monero community, developing open source applications that people can actually really use right we have the hardcore devs like building the protocol um you have you know businesses businesses like like cake uh and then you got people like this like anarchio that's just like pumping out these little useful apps for people to use that's actually making monero uh usable in a powerful way and you know just open source doing it out of the you know the, the kindness of his heart there's, you know, there's really, there's really no, uh, no, not, no profit motive behind this at all. Um, the guy who currently is hosting it for an Ar Narcio, he put some ads on, on his site for his VPN and that, and that's it. Um, all donations, uh, for any Kuno go directly to who's ever running the Kuno. There's no fees taken or anything. So, uh, yeah, Great. definitely kudos to Narcio. Kudos for Kuno. And by the way, um, I'm going to need some more coffee. Hopefully you guys are going to be bringing some of that delicious coffee that uh, you guys usually have. Yeah, we're going to do that. We'll do that for sure. I live off that at the con. That's what keeps me going at the conferences. I'm just like making espressos, hooking people up with Monero wallets. I'm just like <laughs> I swear, I'm not like a big coffee snob, but that bag of coffee I brought home uh, from you guys was I haven't had a bag as good since then, honestly. It's really, really fantastic good. and i'm colombian so i i'll probably get in trouble for saying that because yeah not yeah, colombian yeah. Stuff, right? it's no no it is colombian now now oh. now it's colombian now oh, it is okay. well, we we, we had right? yeah originally it was from guatemala and then right. actually we had some coffee from mexico for some time but now no no we've been all colombia for a while now from this one farm um we'll get them on soon too i actually just spoke to cool. the guy who's been helping us out tremendously with gratuitous he lives in colombia uh we'll have him on the show soon well that's um, that seems more more fitting um colombia is the place for coffee so uh yeah so awesome. yes cool looking forward to tasting the, the new bags